everybody. I'm going to ask Cryon a question today. This question was uh, shared with me from one of my patrons, Joey. Thank you so much for the question. I'm giving you guys a sampler because I'm, I'm going to be doing a 60 minute live group experience. I'm taking five requests from those who can make it and we're going to ask these questions of Cryon. It's on June 6th and see what he has to say. It's going to be really fun. If you're interested in signing up for it, just go to my website, abbynormalswisdomquest.com. You'll see a big banner on the homepage. It says live group experiences. Click here. Just click there and it'll take you and there's different options you can choose from. Um, I'm also offering just a free um, entry if you join Patreon, any tier of Patreon, you can join the crying Q&A for free. So if you're interested in checking out my Patreon community, a lot going on there, reduced cost sessions, live streams, lots of stuff, go to patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right, I'm ready to read this question and I'm ready to see what Cryon has to say. All right, so the question is, is there any important messages from Cryon to us at this time? Any events in 2022 we should pay attention to? All right, Cryon, what important messages do you want to share with us right now? And are there any events in 2022 to pay attention to? Okay. Okay. the most important message you can share with us crying right now today and anything important to pay attention to in events 2022 okay i am walking on a path to cry on on that path i come across to, uh, it's a mess okay there's a lot of very thick shards of glass and they're huge. They're massive and they are shards from some bigger piece of glass. And these shards have sort of fallen into one another, grown together and created this massive jam. All right. And I can't get to cry on because I have a big jam in the way. And there's all this other um, big jam behind me, around me, above me, below me. It's like the path to cry on is just covered in this what is like shards of, of a big, massive, old black mirror that broke and then grew together in this really messy way. He's showing me this. And he's curious to know what I think, you know, he's sort of in this free space. He can move about as he pleases. There's nothing in his way. But as I go to him, I'm blocked. And he's one, wanting to, to, he's just curious what my answer is or what my opinion is on what is between Cryon and myself. Like, why can Cryon have this free space and then I have this blocked space? Like, what is it? So he's just curious. He just wants my human opinion on this. So let me see. I'm going to evaluate the energies. I tell him to just, just, just slow down, Cryon. Gosh, why are you in such a hurry? <laughs> I'm teasing him because I'm really freaking slow and it's bothering me. <sighs> I'm having to take a look at this black uh, broken pieces. And it's kind of a circular shape and it's messy everywhere i'm i'm really analyzing it's taking a long time i feel like time is so ridiculously slow it's it's annoying it's um it's like i i've been reduced from the road runner to a, a snail or turtle or this i just feel like uh, for me to get anywhere it is taking a very long time <sighs> It's taking so long that it's almost like I forget my place at times. Right now, I'm projecting my consciousness into the many facets of the mirror. I'm projecting my consciousness into the free space around Cryon. I'm projecting myself into Cryon. I'm projecting myself into the vision of myself in this space so I can um, gather further details, okay? But no matter what I do, it's almost like my brain becomes um, clogged and I'm slow and... It's just very tiring, very, very tiring. Now, remember, this is a message Cryon is sharing through me with all of us. All of the challenges I'm dealing with, the way that it looks, the way that it feels, is all related to the most important message you can share with us about right now. 
And so you're going to have to blend the meaning of this with your own personal life and actually use your old noggin to think about what this means to you, okay? And events in 2022, I mean, you guys ever feel like um, you're so close to something, but it's like you're running in place for years and you can never get to the final grand finale? Like, this is kind of um, reminding me of this. I did, I finally tell Cryon that um, I'm not allowed to know. I'm literally not allowed to know. And, but I, I do know what I'm capable of, Cryon. And so I just project myself to being right in front of him. So my consciousness is the lightest part of me in this energy space, which is funny because in this energy space, I have density but my consciousness is still the lightest part of me. And I'm still lighter than I am myself as a human being. So my consciousness here is dense, but then my, my projected consciousness is even lighter. So I project my lightest self to cry on in the free space. He asked me what I left behind. I say the part of myself that I couldn't take with me. He says, what does that mean to you? I say to cry on that after many years of um, getting to enjoy these types of conversations, um, my human mind and emotion isn't concerned about what I leave behind. What I leave behind is the heaviest parts of myself and, the, and they're weighed down with, with the energy of this world, the energy of my memories, with all the dense echoes and all the repetitious patterns, all the programming I can't break down, um, everything that I'm still learning how to conquer. But I'm completely okay with that because I have to let go of what I don't understand weighing me down. I could try to identify it or I can just be this light part of me here with you. And he says, so what gives me the freedom and what gives you the freedom is when we let go of our heaviest natures, our heaviest sides, our heaviest human um, challenges. When we are our, our lightest selves, when we are our lightest selves, we have the most freedom to move about. He says, um, how can you be your, your lightest self? He's asking you, the viewer, me, all of us, how can you be the, your lightest self? And he's showing me, I mean, the encouragement for me to define what that means to me, because he's not going to say specifically, but um, when he does that, I, I instantly see people downsizing or simplifying their life, okay? I see people um, having garage sales, I see people letting go of things that they thought mattered or things that they had once needed. Um, life is showing them what they need and what they don't need in their life and they are letting things go. They are becoming their lighter selves. And Kryon is asking another interesting question. If I feel like what we are letting go is a part of us. And so he shows classic things which I mean really pertains to me because I'm, I am moving right now. And so he's showing me, you know, people moving, people selling items, people um, taking things to the goodwill. Are your clothes, was your previous house, was uh, a car that you're selling, um, something like this, is that a part of who you are? And so when it is sold, now part of you goes with it and you'll never be able to get that part of you back because it is gone now. And I say it's an interesting statement because I do feel that we um, develop a bond with our material items, whether we're consciously like looking at it or if it's in bins in our basement, we haven't looked into those bins in 10 years. We still have somehow an energetic relationship to that stuff. But I feel that when we let something go, when we come to peace with the choice to let it go, um, that peace is actually what reconciles any kind of attachment to what it was and helps you to feel your lightest self with all that you are. So you never really lose anything. He says, okay, so right now we are becoming our lightest selves 
And the best way to do that is to come to peace with all the changes that are taking place in your life. And he's saying it's, it's not some people might be moving or selling things. Other people might be um, moving from one relationship to another relationship. That relationship be, could be um, a bond with a soulmate to now a relationship with yourself. Um, he's showing me changes in jobs. Um, he's showing me that we are letting go um, to regain a lighter part of ourself. And um, he's applauding all of us. He is literally applauding all of us. It's like um, we are going to the show, but cry on, and, and we are applauding those who could put on the show for us. Um, and we value the entertainment, but this isn't entertainment for Cryon. I mean, this is he's deeply grateful for every single person. And he is applauding with gratitude, not that this was entertainment or the best show, but that he's so grateful for all the souls who are here on earth that are working through these challenges and that are working on just the, these actions of letting go alone is hard. And he's applauding us from the bottom of his heart. And he is grateful for all of us. I freaking love Cryon. This is my experience with his consciousness. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, go to my website, sign up for the live group experience, the Cryon Q&A, June 6th. I'd love to see you there or join Patreon and get a free entry. Any tier will do. Um, Patreon.com slash Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. Have an awesome day.